All too often, it is still an enormous struggle for people with reduced mobility to move around in our big European cities. Here in Brussels, the Public Transport Authority has been taking the issue seriously for about a decade now, not least due to persistent lobbying by disability rights groups. We are trying to new culture, a culture of accessibility, but of accessibility concrete, close to the reality of citizens with mobility reduced. This week saw the annual International Day for Persons with Disabilities. For Europe, Entering the fifth year of the current crisis, a reminder that it is the most vulnerable in society who often suffer the most in difficult times. On Wednesday, Parliament hosted a European Assembly representing the 15% or 80 million EU citizens with disabilities. So far, the crisis had indeed a devastating effect on them, particularly in countries under extreme austerity regimes where they find themselves stripped of benefits and opportunities. And it is what people uh, living with disabilities feel very much and experience very much and I think we cannot accept it. We might not uh, allow the deterioration of the human rights situation in Europe. Parliament itself is trying very hard to be a model employer when it comes to inclusion, organising awareness workshops about its disabled staff and improving their working environment. But its members know that these efforts are not sufficient to turn the tide on a bigger scale. Il Parlamento europeo deve eh, coordinare a livello di 27 Stati membri tutte le azioni utili eh, per eliminare tutte le, le barriere, tutte le diversità, tutte, eh, diciamo, tutti gli ostacoli eh, che rendono diciamo, difficile l'accesso delle persone diversamente abili al mercato del lavoro.